All right, this is my uh, Prusa i3 clone, this branded CTC, and I've been thinking of making some improvement to it. One of the ones that I'm making, uh, thinking of uh, changing, is the linear bearing. This is one of the linear bearings recommended to me by Bill Rowe Racket. I haven't installed it, I printed four of them. Um, you can hear it. This is sort of like a very rough sounding, grating, grinding noise. And, uh, it gets to you after a while. Um, the other improvement that I was thinking and I was thinking of making is a bracket on the Z shaft. I noticed when the uh, this part here when it goes up, uh, the shaft does wobble a little bit when the uh, stepper motor turns. So, but when I'm printing this cylinder here, this is actually a uh, self-watering watering jar by um, Chris DSA. When I'm printing this, you can see how straight the side goes up. I don't see any kind of uh, variation. Uh, I think I'm printing at 0.2 um, millimeter uh, for each layer. And um, yeah, uh, even though there's some wobble here on um, the Z shaft. I don't see any difference. I don't see any difference in, you know, any distortion on the printed object. Now, this side, when the shaft turns, is more true. It doesn't wobble as much as this one. But when I look at this, when I look at the bracket here, um, the motion when this part, the carriage, goes up, it's, I see it's really limited by this rod here, rather than a threaded uh, screw rod. That bracket is tightly um, limited the motion uh, by the bearings here. If, if your bearing, there's some play in it, I can see that it would affect the movement of the printing head. But the Z shaft, um, when it goes up, you know, even though there's some wobble to it, I don't think it affects the uh, the print job that much. Now I just have a regular. Let's see here. I just have a regular, like a acrylic tube as a coupler. No fancy coupler here. No. No uh, spring-loaded one, right? That's the stock coupling. And my problem is mo mostly with the PLA or the ABS pulling away from heat bed, um, especially with bigger objects. I actually put down a piece of tape here. We will ride it. Uh, will probably be laughing at me, but if I don't put the tape here, this is just regular masking tape, one side will usually pull away, even with the brim. I could add some glue to the masking tape there, but uh, when I do that, the object will be very hard to to be removed from the glass here after the uh, print job is done. You can't really print too big an object on this. Uh, I look at some of the thinking first stuff. It takes like 15 hours to print. 10 hours to print. So that's just uh, impractical uh, for me anyway. So something small like this Maybe three hours is uh, more reasonable. Other than that, yeah, it's, a, it's a neat little toy.
All right. I don't really think the anti wobble is needed for me uh, at this point. Thanks for watching.